last Saturday, was that the first game without the mask, or did you go yeah. without it at Kansas? Yeah, I didn't play with it on Baylor, against Baylor. Was that something you asked about and they told you it was okay, or were you pushing for um, that? Yeah, I kind of got tired of it, and I was just like, I'm not going to wear it. And my trainer was like, okay. So. Did you feel like Saturday was one of your better all-around games of the season? I know you've had a, you had a game where you had more points. Yeah, um, yeah, I would say so just because of my defense. Like, I went into that game just focusing on defense, knowing that in order to, like, put my team at the best chance of winning, I had to play defense. And so that's what I came in, that's what I focused on. And I think that probably was my best defensive game. It seemed like you maybe a little more aggressive taking it off the dribble. Yeah, Saturday that, as well. I think that might have been like the most layups I've shot all season. But um, I don't know what it was. I mean, coach told us we need to attack them, and they do have bigs. But I just was able to find a way, find a way to kind of maneuver around them. Any hey, trepidation? I mean, going in there with those big girls, and you know, of course, they're going to be slapping at the ball and oh, you're coming yeah. off the nose. And all yeah, that. I mean, going in there, you know you know they want to block you so bad. So you just kind of, like, I remember going up one time with my left hand, I was like, nope, she's, she's going to she's gonna block it. So I just went with my right, and it was able to go in. But, yeah, those big girls love when our guards come in there because they just, all they see is a block right there. So, yeah. Of course, the layup is, most times, is a high percentage shot. Yeah. It's a lot higher than, <laughs> than outside there, too. Yeah. But how do you feel about the way your shot is coming on? Are you shot? 60% from the field overall, Sam. Um, I mean, and some of those were layups, so that's expected, but I feel like my shot has been coming along better, and I just need to focus on getting my feet set and not being off balance, because most of the time when I miss, that's what the problem is. So that's what I really try to focus on, and not trying to rush anything, and just letting it come to me. I know, obviously your scoring is important. I mean, Tynese people are always going to be all over her. Yeah. Shania has some shots, but it can't just be those two from yeah. the perimeter, too. Yeah. Right? Needs, you need to have some scoring, too. Right? Oh, yeah. And, of course, Alexis Brewer, too. She's completely capable of scoring just as well as I am. Did you feel it as a team, um, you know, even though you lost that game Saturday, that might have been one of your better games of the season as a team, the way you played for four Yeah. Games? But, I mean, the biggest difference was we played hard for 40 minutes, and that's what we need to do. But that game just came down to execution at the last, the last two minutes, five minutes. So, like, now that we know, we know how capable we are of competing against those types of teams. And if we play like that for the rest of the season, we shouldn't lose another conference game. And that's what we really need to, like, focus on and come to practice every day and work hard just how we played that game for 40 minutes and play the rest of our games for 40 minutes just like that. I'm sure probably watching the tape of the first Texas Tech game wasn't a lot of fun. Yeah. If that was the, the six-point second quarter and you had yeah. a big lead after, you probably felt like you just gave that game away. Yeah, um, I mean, we've talked about that game a lot, but I think our biggest thing was we stopped playing in the second and third quarter, how Lene said, and we can't do that. We can't just take quarters off because when we take quarters off, the other teams capitalize on that, and we can't let that happen. So, like Coach said, we need to play hard for 40 minutes, all four quarters, and if we play hard or just as hard as another team, they're not going to beat us. you feel like I mean, the schedule is finally going to start turning in your favor here in terms of you're not going to have to travel as much. You've, you've played a bunch of road games, means, which means now yeah. you've got a bunch of home games. Coming. Yeah, I mean, that'll help for sure. But I don't think, I think because of where we are, like all of our flights are two hours away, three hours away. So I don't think traveling really impacts us as much maybe as, a, as other teams because we're used to it more. But um, I think having home games will definitely help us, having our home crowd and our, our fan support and stuff like that, so yeah. What has it been like playing with Lene Len here the last couple of years with all the experience she has in this program? Mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been awesome. I kind of look to her as like an older sister, um, but she's always there for me. She's always there for anybody if we need help on or off the court. She's always there to pick us up when we're down or she like she's able to get on to us and tell us like hey you need to fix this in order for us to be successful so she's really like somebody that you can go to for anything really